You're brave. Hey. Hello. Have you been on before? I have, um, but I'm okay. Gamer Christina, who just asked your question. Um, uh, oh, I want to clarify, I being offended. Okay, okay yes. Um, I am offended because this man says he's interested in me. We are in the middle of a conversation through text messaging, and then you go blank for 12 okay. hours. Okay. I understand if you're busy, but this is the beginning of dating. If you're interested in someone, why would you leave them for 12 hours? Just gone blank. Okay. I have, isn't that a, I am weeding out the people who are inter, not interested and he is showing a lot. That is a red flag, lack of interest that he, he just has no interest. He's telling yeah. me he so, does, so but. Okay, so I, I, are we commenting on the fact that I was, I was, okay, so I, I was not criticizing, but I was addressing the word offended or which I can understand now that I have a little more clarity on what you were talking about in your question. So give us some context. How long had you been communicating with them before this happened? Um, just a week. So okay, so, for, oh, so you were communicating for a week. Okay. Yes. And then, um, and was he consistent throughout the previous conversation? Very okay. consistent. And then okay. um, just. Okay, wait, let me ask some questions. So then, um, did you guys ever speak on the phone? Um, no. He, I wait, made Whoa, 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 whoa. Ladies, now, Stacy, I'm talking to everybody. Please stop this incessant text form of connection. It's going to lead to moves like this. Okay. So let me keep going. I had to interrupt you to say, ladies, no long version text messaging. Okay. A few text exchanges should lead to a telephone call or two that should eventually lead to a date. So, so you went on for a week and then tell us exactly what happened in this exchange. Um, well, you remember, you've seen me before. I am homeless. Um, oh, your now, mother lives in her car. Yes. So it is um, freezing weather out. Uh, he made a comment saying he wanted to go camping, but it's freezing weather outside. Okay. And uh, I messaged him back, said, you pussy, all you need is a blanket and you'll okay. be just fine. Cause, okay. Uh, well, that's how you... <laughs> And then he went blank for 12 hours right after that. So, okay. So let's, okay, let's play with this for a second. So maybe he took offense to your characterization of him. He came you back know? 12 hours later saying he had a dinner with family and he just um, okay. forgot to reply. Okay. Um, so exactly what you said, you pussy, you, there's always a blanket. And then he went blank. Okay. Okay. And um, all right, so what I don't like about text communication, okay, text dialogue, okay, so let's, this is really critically important, so I'm glad you're here. It's difficult to have a dialogue via text. Sometimes the message, like what you're saying and what they're responding to can be different, you know, like you're out of sequence, okay, that's one thing that happens. The other thing is that's happening is sometimes we take a, you know, we can take a very long time to respond because we want to process something. Now, it's quite possible in that moment he took offense, okay? And he's like, ah, you know what? I'm, I'm, I've got dinner plans. What he didn't do, which was absolutely fucking lutely inconsiderate, was to say, hey, I've got dinner plans. I've got to run. We'll catch up another time. I am in that I, I think it's very fair to have a to be offended by that lack of courtesy on with him. OK, so why not tell us what happened when he did reach out 12 hours later? What did you do? Um, what did I do? I um, did not respond. OK, and when did that he happen? Didn't, he didn't at, he didn't ask me any questions or anything. He just explained it. He said it 12 hours later. So that was. Um, on Saturday morning. He's, okay. Yeah. And there's been no communication since, is that right? And then today he messaged me wanting to take me out to dinner with two okay. hours notice. But he knows okay. that I 
I've told him I work at night. So if you're any interested, you would know she works nights. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. So, so where do you stand? I wanted to, to, I want to tell him I'm offended, but I feel this is only a week. Do I even have the right to be offended? Like, how do okay, you so now you your question is, do I have a right to be offended? <laughs> So here, I'm going to, the nonviolent communication communication would look like this. And quite frankly, this is very difficult for folks. Uh, we human Jonathan, beings were not I designed pause, to, what? May I pause you? I am at work. So I called you on my break, but now I have to run back, okay. but I'm going to okay. listen to you on my headphones as I work. Okay. So thank you so much. All right. All right. Thank okay, you, sweetheart. Bye. All right, bye now. So I'm going to continue on here. Folks, we human beings were not designed to communicate with our thumbs. It's just not a genuine form of communication because our brains weren't designed to communicate this way, okay? We were designed to communicate verbally. That's the, I mean, there was no writing for hundreds of thousands of years, okay? So, you know, this is a relatively new technology, OK, I want you to think about this. Did you guys ever watch the Ten Commandments? Did you see people texting each other, emailing each other, writing each other? Communication literally only up until a few hundred years ago has entirely been verbal. Well, maybe a, a, you, you put a little note in a pigeon and you sent it off. That was the that was the original wireless text message was writing a note on a pigeon. So so. She's what I would respond back, Stacy, is saying, look, you know, going back to our communication the other day, I want to be candid with you. We were having a dialogue with one another and you disappeared on me. And I felt I felt very disrespectful that you just completely abandoned our conversation. And um, and in that moment, I felt very disrespect. I, I felt disrespected. It's not the way I operate. And I'd like you to know that about me. And if if we are going to continue this, you know, getting to know you, then I have a need of, you know, you know, communication that if you're going to go off and do something else, then simply state you're going to do something else. Because quite frankly, it was disrespectful. And I just want you to also know it was rude. Now, I normally wouldn't be accusatory like that, but the fucker needs a little kick in the ass. That was rude. It was absolutely rude. And sometimes you got to smack people upside their head. So even in nonviolent communication, you can do it in a loving way. <laughs> but sometimes people need some harsh truth as well. Okay, Stacy, I hope that helped. Thank you so much for your question. It was really, truly appreciated.